aboard Celia Aragon is an aerobatic pilot. It's a transforming experience. I know when I first started out, I thought the airplane would be getting the way between nature and you, but I found that it's the opposite. I feel like we're sitting in, you know, we're sitting in the wind. Like the wind is carrying us, and I feel a lot closer to the Earth than I did before I started to fly. While executing plane torquing and tongue-twisting stunts like the Knife Edge Cuban 8 and the Wing Over Triple Snap, East Bay resident Cecilia Aragon's rapid gyroscopic ascent in airborne competition has earned her acclaim as one of the best aerobatic pilots in the world. But perhaps her greatest achievement was in 1985, the first time she dared to step into a cockpit. When I was a child, I'd be scared to death to climb to the top of a ladder. And I would break out in a sweat at the thought of having to shake hands with a stranger. Since childhood, Cecilia had not only been afraid of flying, she had a strong fear of heights of any kind. So when a friend dared Cecilia to go up in her small plane, well, she was about to sprout her wings. I was very shy, as well as afraid of heights. And as a result, I was never encouraged to try anything that might be challenging or scary. And then in learning how to fly and overcoming my fear of flying, I overcame the fear of many other things in life, and it's opened many doors for me. In aerobatic competition, I learned to turn what had once been fear into excitement. I learned to use that in my flying, and the judges responded. And respond they did. Cecilia won the second competition she ever entered. And less than six years after her first flight, Cecilia won a place on the U.S. national aerobatic team on her first try. Record that has never been equal. This is the Sabre, my air show and competition airplane. It was, uh, it was designed for me to do one thing and one thing only, to win the World Aerobatic Championship. She went on to win medals in both U.S. National and World Aerobatic Championships. But while outflying her fears, Cecilia quickly ran into new obstacles. When I was first learning to fly, my instructor saw that I couldn't reach the pedals. And he looked at me and he said, maybe you should just give this up. The five foot two fledgling pilot found an answer with the help of a Berkeley cobbler. Before I had my custom built saber, these are the kind of shoes I had to wear just to reach the rudder pedals. And to make sure she could see any oncoming in-flight fender benders. And this is my custom built booster seat, designed so I can see out the windshield of the airplane. Cecilia admits to reaching 100 pounds only after a big meal. But the plane she trained in required a minimum 140 pound load for the pilot, designed with a male in mind. This is a diagram of my airshow routine. Looks pretty simple, huh? To put on weight, she went to a local scuba dive shop, bought 40 pounds of lead weights and strapped them into the cockpit. It was finally understood. Cecilia was going to fly. Airborne, Cecilia navigates the heavens with precision, grace, and guts. The Sabre can reach speeds of 180 miles per hour at level flight. But since Cecilia rarely flies at level, it is more important for her to know that it can accelerate 250 miles per hour straight down. When she touches down to Earth again, Cecilia is consumed with other life passions, like daughter Diana. I want to be a pilot like my mama. Birds of a feather. And Cecilia somehow logs flight and family time along with a career as a 3D graphics designer and programmer, with NASA, of course. Cecilia's life has literally taken wings in every aspect all because of that fateful day in 1985 when she cast her fears to the wind. Fear is not bad, but irrational fear can paralyze you and make your life choices very narrow. My very first flight, we went out over the, the California coast and I thought how beautiful this is and how lucky I am. And here it is just for me. When I was a child, I used to dream about having wings and being able to fly. This airplane is, is even better than that, because not only can I fly, I can move 
with a freedom that I never dreamt of. It's almost like becoming divine.